Have some respect. This really isn't the time to talk. Glad you made it inside. Doubt we'll be safe here for long, though. There'll be more coming. Goblins hunting packs. You think? That's something, at least. We're not trained fighters, though. I'm guessing you have plenty of both. Be nice if I could say the same for myself. It'd be even nicer if we were on the road to Baldur's Gate already. If the road was clear, a ten days' walk, maybe? But while the goblins are out there, it might as well be the other side of the world. Not now. Refugees, adventurers, no one in years, and suddenly we're overwhelmed. Well met, and thank you for beating back those goblets. Most brave of you. Is there anything you need? 
Act fast if you do. The ritual will be complete before too long. Ah, I forgot. You're a blow-in. A few days hence, this grove will be completely concealed by thorny vines. None will be able to enter. Or leave. A drastic measure. But more monsters seem to terrorize this region every day. We druids will be safe. As for those that took refuge here, well... May Sylvanus guard them as they continue their travels. As I said, it's a drastic measure. But the survival of the Grove is paramount. There just aren't enough supplies to support everyone. I pray no Goblin Arrow has grazed you. Nettie could put you to rights. She should be with the others in the inner chambers. But I doubt she'll be taking on new patients. The Grove will be locked down soon. Just some bits and bobs I no longer need. Guide your path. You're going to get us killed! Pels, we can't just leave. They're kin! I'll not gamble our lives, our futures, on people who are as good as dead. We must leave for Baldur's Gate at once. Can we all just take a moment, please? What's the point in blades and spells if we don't bloody use them? We should stay. These people aren't fighters. We can help. Or yell louder. That's fine too. No. This place is a death trap. Let us leave. Immediately. Or would you deny your brother here his chance at fortune in Baldur's Gate? Come on, sis. We're less of a target alone. We should leave. Ah, oh, fine. Let's sneak away like God's damned cowards. But if something happens to these people, it's on us. I hope you know that. I hate it, but Roland is right. Every moment here is another we risk dying at the hands of Greenskins. You'd best get out too, while there's still time. This place is a bloody death trap, not a sanctuary. You should clear off while you can. Hmm. He stares right past you as if you're invisible or boring. still staring right past you. You see nothing out of the ordinary. As you turn back, the child slips between the rocks. You find the edges of a concealed entrance. No trigger or handle, though. No way to open it. You don't look so tough. Mole fought off a hobgoblin all by herself. Next time the goblins come, I'll be ready. Children! Oh, uh, right. Uh, go for the heart. Go on. Give me a best shot. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Not bad. Again. Hey, hey, keep focus. See how I used your own force against you? Of course you can, it just takes time. I didn't become the Blade of Frontiers overnight. The man's smile bends downward. 
and his thoughts become yours. An unknown face commands your mind. Rust red skin, gnarled horns. Chuck, he is infected. Uh, I'll be damned to the hells. You are on the ship. Your blood runs quicker, feeding the gnawing absence at the center of your mind. The creature appears again, red skin, twisting horns, and wings stretching wide behind it. Your minds part again, leaving your skull throbbing. Ouch! Careful you don't push the brain bugs too far. They'll leave you hurting. Keep it up, kid. If I had to guess, you took a bumpy ride on a Mind Flayer machine, same as me. And I've been having the strangest dreams. I haven't turned into a Mind Flayer just yet. But sooner or later, my luck will run out. Been thinking I need a healer. And I reckon you've been thinking the same. I've been waiting for this druid Halsin to return. They say he's pretty powerful. He could probably help us. Problem is, the goblins have nabbed him. We better go find him before we start growing talons and tentacles. Excellent idea, but I have a condition. Look at these kids. They've no chance on the road, not while goblins infest it. I've got the grandest of plans. You and me, we kill the goblin horde's leaders. That should scatter the buggers. Frontier justice, I call that. What say you? I love your spirit, but you're full up. But when the time comes, just holler. The Blade of Frontiers will come calling. A splendid plan. Let's chat there. The Blade of Frontiers. What a thrill for the children. Swing. This is boring. We should train against real goblins. Step, parry, strike. Damn it! It's just not landing. Well, I'm in no position to turn down help. We need to be ready for a fight. But I'm useless with a sword. Uh, like this, you mean? Step, step, strike! Yes! You really know what you're doing. Uh, found this by the road. Bet you'll put it to good use. Oh, yes. I'll bite my tongue when the time comes. Hopefully, it's just the goblins we have to worry about. The druids are treating us like vermin. But I'll keep at it. Thank you. Questions? All right. By Mordai's eyes, another one. My friend's blood not enough. Come to rip me open too. In Kresh Kalir, a formal greeting begins with a bow. Is this monster with you? Lower. You saw another gith. Where? On the road, to Baldur's Gate. N near the mountain pass. S saw us, for we saw it. 
jammed its blade through Yul's belly. Straight to the other side. No twisting. Kin must have been in a hurry. The map. Show me. Up. You can keep your innards. Nor did I account for my kin to be trapped in with the drow after we caused that... The locals prove compliant. A useful trait. I warned you, didn't I? You ought to reconsider keeping her around before she causes real trouble. Chuh. A shell so thin requires little to crack it. The teethling was clear. If there are Githyanki west of here, that must be our objective. Purification cannot wait. You see nothing unusual in Lazelle's demeanor. Fresh holds the Zaphisk. It will cleanse us of the parasite. By covenant, I can say no more. I am unfamiliar with the, well, I shall not say culture. Custom, perhaps. You will educate me on matters of this fey run. Goblins, druids, this grove is a death trap. Grab what you can and get out. That's my advice. You saw you fighting those slimy bastards. Fancy a bowl? Best to fill your belly now while we still can. Look, it ain't much, but it might make all the difference. The only way we'll make it to Baldur's Gate is to run, and run hard. If a knoll catches your scent, you'll need every bit of strength. Trust me. You've had your share. Leave some... You're the first grown-up who's ever gotten in here. Not bad. We've known enough grief this ten-day, Traveller. Don't be the cause of more. Nor did I account for Mike. And we'll have a dog, right? They don't allow them in Baldur's Gate. Cats, though. A little orange cat. And a house with a little door so that it can come and go as it pleases. And a high fence to keep eavesdroppers out. Thanks. I suppose we'll all need it. What about you? Big plans for when you get to the city? <laughs> We've had enough rough to last us a good long while. Good luck to you then. And wish us some too. I suppose we'll stop. Your spiced tea is life changing. And I can bake up almond cakes 20 at a time. Thanks for fighting off those goblins. If you need to replace any gear, just ask. My selection's pretty slim. 
I had to leave most of my equipment in Elturel. The best. People came from as far as Neverwinter to buy my swords. Funny how things change when your bloodline becomes a problem. Guess I'll be starting over in Baldur's Gate. I hope people are more open-minded there. gonna shoot me your hands are shaking put it down she can't fight back that's the point get out of the way she didn't kill your brother Arca. you're better than this shoot before you lose your nerve tiefling if you ever had it to begin with i'm not afraid chosen by the absolute i am i'm blessed Oh, I'll bless you, all right. Here it comes, you little beast. That goblin won't be the last. It was wrong. It was justice, or the start of it. It's fine, Memnos. <laughs> Fighting chance. That's more than Cannon got. Hold out your hand, mister. Let me show you... Go on. Take this ring. It's lucky. Oh, um, I... I don't have any money or anything to sell. My... P partner does that. What? Um, I'm the guard. So don't steal anything. I'm watching you. Hold out your hand, mister. Let me show you something. Go on. Take this ring. Call it. Heads or tails. Heads it is. See? That's the kind of luck you get from one of my lucky rings. I've got more where that came from. Real cheap, too. Interested? You got it. One sec. That's what I got. Something. Most everybody says it looks like junk and moves on. Oh, you have. You definitely have. Anyway, see you again sometime. Take care. Safe travels. You spot the boy giving a sly wink as he turns away. Let my daughter go right now! She's a thief, hell spawn. And you will wait for Corga's judgment. Now get back! Oh, let me through, Ragrasham, or I'll rip your damn throat out! Get 
Damn it. We could have taken those guys. Lives are at stake. And the cowards only care about their bloody rituals. Those dirt kissers would let us die for the sake of their bloody grove. We could help each other. Fight the goblins together. Instead, these fools are trying to chase us away. He's things over. We need to get Arabella out. Now! You heard the guards. They're waiting on Corker to give word. I'd sooner trek through the nine hells than trust that snake. Ugh! Arabella tried to steal their idol. Druids lost their damn minds about it. They need it for their precious ritual. Oh, it's all my fault. I told her I wished the wretched thing would just disappear, or better yet, explode. Now Arabella's being judged by a bunch of druids who hate us. That's not right. She was caught. Foolish child. Let them judge her. Thank you. They won't give us the time of day. Hurry! I'm at the end of my tether as is. Can't take this waiting. God. Unless you have news of Arabella, I... Please. She's been in there too long. It's not safe. I could take one of the guards. Maybe two. What about the bear? I'd like to keep our guards... Stop! Move back at once! Keep back! Force my hand, and I'll show you its claws. A moment, Giona. What? Oh, I understand. You. Apparently, Korga wants to see you. Go ahead. Your welcome can be easily withdrawn, outsider. Respect our grove, or face our claws. Few outsiders are allowed in here. Be respectful and do not... Senses, Koga. Release her. Please. I'm sorry. This is madness, Koga. She's just a. A what, Wrath? A thief? A poison? A threat? I will imprison the devil. And I will cast out every stranger. Girl? You mean parasite? She eats our food, drinks our water, then steals our most holy idol in thanks. Wrath, lock her up. She remains here until the rite is complete. And keep still, devil. Tila is restless. Come, Koga. We took back the idol. Surely... Do it! No. The tiefling remains until the rite is complete. Now, Wrath. Gone. By the God. 
Gods, Korga, what have you done? Atheus! Tila to me! Bury the remains. Continue the rite. And the parents? They're just outside. This outsider will take word once I've spoken to him. We must focus on the right. Mercy on us, Sylvanus. Mercy. 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 You may be right. We've let a snake replace our leader. And the result? By the tree father. That girl. Master Holson, perhaps Goblin Court, perhaps dead. He'd set Mistress Korga back in line. Hold her to task. Stop this damn ritual. More will die if the rite is finished. So many more, sent into a world gone mad. Would you? I would give anything to see Holson return home. Sylvanus's blessing upon you, and my gratitude as well. Holson is an elf with the presence of a bear. He left west with the adventurers. You won't mistake the first druid for anyone else. Go on. Say it. You think I'm a monster? Accidents do not exist. There is only choice and consequence. The devil's spawn imperiled my brood. I bared my fangs to defend it. Choice. Consequence. Now the idol of Sylvanus is returned, and the rite has resumed. We will seal the grove, free from harm, free of intruders. I am first druid now. I protect the circle, whatever the cost. You showed great metal at the gate. The metal of a skilled sword for hire. I want you to provide your services to the tiefling leader. Zevlor, he's called. Offer to guide the outlanders out of the grove. I'm sure they'll reward you well. They're to be gone before final prayer. If they are not, the viper must strike. You will do more than speak. This tale ends but one way, with the Outlander rot cleansed and the grove forever shrouded. Goblin attacks, and now a dead child. We never should have opened our gates. You didn't know. I see you. Just give me a moment. This medicatrix. There. It's up to her now. Life or death. Now, what was it you needed? You found her, but I still don't know what she can do for you. Why are you asking? A tadpole. A mind flare tadpole. I... Uh, I'll do what I can. Come, follow me. I might be able to help. We need to be quick. This way. This one had the same problem as you. Attacked us in the woods together with some goblins. 
tadpole crawled out of his head soon after. Seems so. Gave Master Halson a right start. It's why he joined the adventurers on their expedition. To find out what was happening. A pity you got me instead of him. He spent days studying the Drow's tadpole. Maybe he found an easier way. Still? A cure. Now your arm, please. You don't have time for games. You don't have to be here for this. I will remain. I have a vested interest in the outcome. There. Be careful. Your legs will probably give out first. I'm sorry. Maybe Master Halson could have plucked it from your head. But I can't. Without him here, the only treatment for an illithid tadpole is death. You're a risk to the people around you. I'm truly, truly sorry. For what it's worth, the poison is painless. It'll be like going to sleep. I can't risk you turning. You'd kill us all. I won't. I can't. I'm sorry. There's nothing you can say to change my mind. Blind honesty is always a bad idea. We should keep quiet in future. Indeed. Wouldn't want a frightened and angry mob to get to us before the tadpole did, would we? That said, this house and fellow sounds promising. He'd be someone to tell about our problem. If we manage to find him, that is. Tidy slot, but no rune.
The bird's eyes are glassy. Thank you. 